The latest statistics from Social Security Scotland show that at the end of January, some 192,575 people were in receipt of adult disability payment, ADP and of those, 83,199 were new applicants and 109,385 were existing personal independence payment, PIP, case transfers from the Department for Work Pensions, DWP. One new piece of data that will be of interest to many is that the average time to process a new claim for ADP has fallen from 83 working days in October 2023 to 59 working days in January 2024. This means people making a new claim over the Easter holidays could have an award decision before the end of May. A successful new claim for the devolved payment is worth the same amount as its DWP counterpart. This means people over the age of 16 with a disability, long-term illness or physical or mental health condition could receive between £28.70 and £183.30 each week, paid every four weeks. ADP and PIP weekly payment rates daily living component enhanced, £108. 55 standard, £72.65 and 65 pence mobility component enhanced, £75.75 and 75 pence standard, £28. 70 Scotland's welfare system is encouraging people about to make a new claim, or those who have already submitted one to provide at least one piece of supporting information from an acceptable professional as that could help case managers understand someone's condition, disability or daily living or mobility needs, and speed up an award decision. Many people may be unaware of the supporting evidence that can be submitted, and Social Security Scotland believes many have the information to hand and just don't realize it. Social Security Scotland case manager Lee Dugala is responsible for assessing applications, and said, We need one piece of supporting information from a professional to process an application. He explained, Supporting information is important, but it's where we have the biggest issue. It can be something as little as confirming your condition. Details about what it's like to live with the condition are probably the most helpful information we can get. Obviously, GPs and people like that are really busy, so something like a picture of the box medication came in, with a name on it, will do because certain medications are for certain conditions. Snap it, upload it, things like that mean we can sometimes even avoid having to go to the GP. For example some people seem to believe it needs to be medical or comes from a doctor, but Social Security Scotland said the most useful supporting information often comes from, counsellors support workers teachers allied health professionals information that can be submitted includes, care plans medical reports certificates letters outlining housing adaptations or school reports, highlighting adjustments made to help the claimant prescription lists that show the medication you take test results part 2 of the ADP application form asks about your condition and how it affects your ability to look after yourself understand information and communicate with other people what help and support you need and why how you move around outdoors any medication treatment or equipment you need official guidance on mygov Scott explains other information which could help support your answers in part 2 includes, information about your condition or your symptoms, if you're still waiting for a diagnosis information about any medical tests you have had, and the results if you have them contact details for your GP contact details for anyone else who could give more information about your condition, such as a family member or someone who looks after you more help about completing an application for adult disability payment can be found on the Disability Rights UK website, a guide covering the whole application process can be downloaded for free here. 
how to upload supporting documents online for help submitting supporting documents online you can contact Social Security Scotland on 0800 182 2222. There is also an upload page on mygov.scot here with all the details and document formats you need to know. The Scottish Government also announced earlier this year that third sector organisations are to be paid a fee for helping provide supporting information for people applying for child disability payment or adult disability payment. The £33.50 and penny fee will be paid when they are asked by Social Security Scotland to complete a supporting information request form. People who are applying for disability benefits who find it difficult or face barriers gathering supporting information themselves will be able to name organisations to provide this for them. These can include third sector organisations that are helping them in their day-to-day -day lives, such as those offering social care or support during an illness. Collecting supporting information on behalf of people is one of the key differences in how people are encouraged and supported to apply for Scottish Government disability benefits. Supporting information request forms are completed to help understand how a person's health condition or disability affects their lives and what support they need. As well as information from health and social care professions, information could also come from charities and third sector organizations who support disabled people. Get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our Record Money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at Record Money underscore for regular updates throughout the day. New, get our money news alerts on your phone by joining our daily Record Money WhatsApp community. The process of requesting and giving equal consideration to supporting information from third sector organisations is not offered by the DWP in England and Wales to people applying for disability benefits including PIP, Attendance Allowance and Disability Living Allowance. Social Security Scotland said this is another example of how it is doing things differently to better support people applying for benefits. To get help completing an application form, you may also be able to use a free advocacy service, find out more here. Join our daily record money WhatsApp community here to receive alerts on the latest money news from benefits to shopping deals.